Hi YouTube, it's your girl Natalie, the one true diamond, coming at you guys with morning chit chat. Just want to step in and say good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, it's hump day, it's Wednesday, on my way to work. Um, nothing to really report about, just that it's Wednesday, checking in to say good morning. Hope you guys are staying motivated on this weight loss journey. Those of you who are on weight loss journey with me. I um, got up this morning. I did do my workout. Believe me, I didn't want to. I wanted to hit that snooze and just lay there. You know, I'm just telling y'all some realities of going through <laughs> this weight loss journey. And I just wanted to... I wanted to stay asleep. I did. I wanted my sleep. I was tired. But me, I know that if I don't get up and do it in the mornings, my chances in the afternoon are slim to none. Now, I have done afternoon workouts, and I do do afternoon workouts. You know, sometimes I'm like, okay, let's just burn off some calories before you go to bed. But it is just best for me to knock it out of the way in the mornings, especially that I'm doing it now that I'm doing it at home, that I'm not making it to um, the aquatic therapy. So, that's what I do. I just like, boom, just go ahead and knock it out. And as I get going, then I get motivated. And I'll be looking at my watch like, okay, <laughs> five minutes into it. Is it 30 minutes yet? <laughs> and then I say, let me stop playing and get into this workout. So, yes. And then I follow this girl on Instagram. Her name is, it's easy being fat. And it is. It is so easy being fat and it is so easy being lazy and if y'all want some watch someone comical she is comical now if you get a little salty about people being comical being crazy now don't even watch don't don't even follow her because <laughs> she's crazy but she tickles me but it is it, it you know we gotta have a little humor in this thing because if not you'll cry all the time about <laughs> being sad and hungry <laughs> but she um again her name is it's easy being fat and she's just hilarious weight loss journey she has not had weight loss surgery she's another one who's just doing it on her own um with just diet and exercise but sometimes she shows the real side of this weight loss struggle you know sometimes she'll be like don't judge me i had this today you know but then guess what she'll get up she'll work those calories off she'll go out and do something working her calories off and that's what i like about you know her just motivational you know so sometimes when i feel like i pop something wrong in my mouth i'm gonna make sure that i do that work that extra workout at night to get to burn those extra calories especially if i know i've done wrong and i had something i shouldn't so you know that's kind of my motivation do you want to do this extra workout is it worth you doing this extra workout if you put this in your mouth then you are going to have to do this extra workout so <laughs> i'm like do i want to do it or don't i want to do it so i decided that okay i can't resist it i gotta have it so I do the extra workout at night. <laughs> this is just the price you got to pay. You got to burn the calories off. If you're going to put them in, you got to burn them off. And how else are you going to burn them off if you don't work it out? Now, if y'all know a way of burning calories without working out, let me know because I'm all game for it. <laughs> I'm all game for it. <laughs> but anyway, I got on the scale this morning. I shouldn't have got up there. Because it's not moving. It's just like sitting there. And I'm like, ah. So, I feel like I need to get more water in. Because I did not. I've only been getting. I only got like 64 fluid ounces in. And I feel like the more water I get in, the better. But I felt like I was just running to the bathroom all day yesterday. I'm like, for sure, I'm letting out some of these fat cells. <laughs> but my scale stayed the same so you know can't rock the scale you know it's not good to look at the scale every day but that's me I, i'm just focused on okay did i lose a pound today <laughs> did i lose an ounce today <laughs> but we can't let the scale control us but in our minds we get like that when we feel like we're hitting it and we're getting it you know instead of just waiting for the big surprise at the end of the week or the beginning of your new week you know 
I um not me. I got to look at my weight and try to trend it and see. Me, I try to look at it and trend it and see what did I do yesterday and did it drop down me a pound, but it didn't. I was doing better the last week because I was doing like mostly protein. Now this week I added in extra stuff in, well for the last few days, like Sunday, Monday and Tuesday, I had been eating that um, eggplant parmesan which I was adding in more calories. Now, last week, when the pounds were dropping off, I was just pure protein. Like, I would have a grilled chicken breast and maybe two pieces of um, turkey bacon for lunch, and that would be it. A piece of fruit on my ride home, you know. Um, breakfast was two boiled eggs. That's what I was doing. But as I see that I added that eggplant parmesan and I added in my little side salad it's not the same so guess what I'm gonna do this today I went back pure protein I had one boiled egg and I had um, the four slices of the turkey bacon that's all I had this morning for lunch I do got a side salad and I have grilled chicken breast I'm gonna stay away from that Parmesan, eggplant parmesan. I think that should just be like a del a delicacy, a treat, a one time a week. Even though the eggplant's in there, it's meatless. I think it's something with that sauce and that cheese, which cheese is protein, but it's something with it that I, it's something about that meal, that dish that's just not panning out quite right with me in this weight loss. So I know I gotta knock that off. So I'm not gonna do that. Plus, I was on Sunday and Monday, my dinner portions, I did have a piece of garlic bread. So, there you go, adding carbs and bread back in there. So, you know, I, I just got to, that's how I trend myself and look. You know, I just hope one day I can be able to put the scale away and not look at the scale, look at how the clothes are fitting, um... And how I'm feeling knowing that I'm doing everything right you know that I'm hitting it right I'm staying on my food diary I'm not eating anything extra um yeah that that's what's gonna make it for me so that's where I'm trying to get to you know and not so much focus on the scale because that scale will have you like <laughs> I'm doing all of this and I still haven't lost any weight no you know so you know, and it might be that you're just losing inches, you know, might be that you're gaining muscle from your workout, you know, so, you know, you just got to not let the scale control you or define who you are. And that's what I have just decided to do, not let the scale define me. Now, as far as my couponers, if you stuck around this long to listen, haven't couponed, haven't done, I, I'm just out of my mojo. Couponing is not like it used to be when I first started out couponing. People are not helpful. They're just hiding the deals. Um, you know, and I, I, the, the way I look at it is when you started out, somebody helped you. You know, you might have started out trying to figure it out some on your own. But somewhere along the way, on your beginning, somebody helped you learn how to get that deal and you looked at somebody else's deal so now you're being all secretive and you're only showing the deal to certain people and then you come back bragging about the run deals that you had so i think i'm just like totally just like through not through with couponing because i'm still gonna coupon but now that i'm just in my hiatus of where i'm not really interested it's like I've just lost interest in, interest in it because of the way some of these couponers act and the way they do. It's like, please, you know, like, you know, stop being greedy. If you got a big stockpile full, why wouldn't you want to share with somebody? And yes, some people do go out and they do mess the deal up. And I can understand that, especially when it's a run deal. Somebody's going to mess it up. But if you train them and teach them then you wouldn't have to worry about them messing it up. You know, they don't know, and then they go try to figure it out themselves, go call in the stores and stuff, and they mess it up. That's my theory behind it. I don't think anybody's purposely calling the stores trying to mess up a deal on purpose. I, I don't think that is the case. So, 
you won't I, I haven't been talking much about couponing haven't been showing many deals that I've been getting because I really have not been couponing so um, like I said I've been living off my stockpile and I do know that some things are getting low and I need to get back at it and get back into it but I just don't have that mm, about getting back into it right now and when I do y'all know me I'll come back on and I'll be strong with it I'll be running just like running but right now it's like my focus is just basically on my health you know I gotta stop because when I was running by the time you get home you didn't feel like preparing anything healthy you were picking up I was picking up fast food and going home and eating that but now I seem like I'm just more focused on my health and you know um and like I said I will be couponing I'm not stop couponing but it's just like I've just lost that oomph that I had and that excitement, you know. So hopefully that will come back. And then with the new job and how my hours are, it's just like I'm not too excited about these new hours, how they are. This 9 to 5.30 and then 9.30 to 6 o'clock. You don't have time to think about doing anything but work, going home, getting something to eat, relaxing, working out if you're going to work out, you know, so... So, yeah, so that's me. So, but anyway, um, I'm going to get off here for now because I'm at the job so that I can get in and get clocked in and all. But anyway, I hope you guys have a good day. I want y'all to, as always, remember to do what? Give God some praise. Give him some thanks for waking you up this morning, starting you on your way, giving you another chance to get it right. It's always a blessing when you can um, get it right and get another chance to get it right. And when God looks out for you, it's, uh, his grace and mercy is just so, so, so wonderful. So I just thank him. And um, yeah, so with that being said, I'm off here for now. Bye. Have a good day.